Good morning, guys. I am here on a nice, crisp, chilly morning. We had a little bit of snowfall overnight, and I am fishing my local river in a section that runs through town. Um, it's kind of one of the only open areas around here unless you head up to an actual tailwater. Uh, so it can get a little bit busy, but I'm hoping the cold temps and the snow overnight and the fact that it's a weekday uh, will keep some fishermen away. So hopefully I can find some solitude this morning and hopefully I can get in some fish. It's uh, definitely beautiful out here this morning. I love fishing in unique conditions. Um, I'd much rather be out here fishing right now in 20 degrees and lightly falling snow and overcast uh, compared to a nice 50, 55 degree sunny day. Um, I'm sure when spring comes around I won't be feeling that way, but uh, I really do enjoy it. And uh, it's a beautiful morning here, so let's not waste any more time. Let's get out to the river and uh, see if we can get in some fish today. All right guys, so I'm at my first run here. Kind of empties out of the shallow riffles and I can't quite tell from here. I don't think it's too deep, but it kind of has a good structure. Got a little bit more current here on the far side. Got some completely slack water on the very far side. Uh, and then a little slower in front of me here. So I'm gonna give this a quick hit and uh, see if we can find some fish in here. I'm using a Peertagon Nymph and kind of a green and pink color scheme that I came up with. Um, and I'm also using a uh, basically a miracle mid, just got a white thread body with black thread ribbing, a UV clear coat, and a 2 mil tungsten bead. So slim flies, relatively heavy flies. I am going to try to get these flies down into some deeper holes, find where these winter fish are holding, and uh, hopefully get some on the end of my hook. <laughs> Alright, let's get in there. Really not all that deep here, but we'll give it a fair shot and then move on to another hole downriver a little bit. You never know. All right, it's a bit shallow here. Didn't have too high of hopes, but uh, I'm gonna grab my stuff and head on down around the bend. I think there's a pretty big hole around the edge there. So we'll head there next and see what we can find. consider a fly chain soon. I'm actually going to head down here slowly and make a couple more casts in this area. Let it drift down here into the real slow water. See if I can pick anything up there. Um, if not, I am going to change my flies up. Try something else out. A lot of times I like to try hitting a run from from a different angle. Um, it can really help get the fl get flies in different places, hit the current from a different way. Might give you a better presentation. It's always worth a shot. And with Tenkara, obviously I'm limited as far as how far I can cast, and it got real deep out there, so I couldn't get a very uh, well presented drift through here. So from this side, I might have a bit better luck. All right, I'm gonna switch things up. I'm gonna put on actually a jigged streamer. It's a very heavy pattern. It's a uh, 
think it's got a I think my particular one that I have tied up right now has a four mil uh, tungsten bead so it'll get down deep and I can really just dredge the bottom of this hole slowly so let's get let's get real dirty with it we're gonna do a jigged streamer this guy here and I'm gonna put a an egg on the back all right so I got my egg and my streamer on let's give it a shot sometimes I'll completely dead drift this and sometimes I'll give it just some subtle action Really expecting to catch some fish in this pool. I think this egg is kind of messing with my drift. I'm actually going to take this egg off. An egg is kind of a pattern where fish are going to hit it pretty much the first run through, I think. If they're in a, a mood for an egg, they will hit it. And uh, as of right now, it doesn't seem like they're in a mood for an egg. So uh, I'll put like a smaller midge on. I have I've used that tungsten midge, but that is not too too tiny. Um, so I'm gonna put a little, a little uh, like a blue poison tongue midge. This one has a glass bead. Sometimes I find this blue ribbing really gets the fish moving when other stuff doesn't. So we'll give that a shot, and it's a tiny little midge, so. It won't really affect the drift of the streamer much or at all compared to the egg, which is good. Because that egg was just kind of, that thing is like a, a sail in the water. It just picks up currents and uh, when eggs are working, they're so great just because the fish really, really want them. But uh, if I don't have to use an egg, kind of hate using them, hate the drifts I get with eggs tied on to the end. Here we go. Hmm. Tough going this morning. All right, I'm gonna try one more time from this side. And uh, if I don't have any, any luck this time, I guess it's time to head up the river and find a new hole. This one is just so deep and looks so good, but maybe there aren't fish holding in there. Or more likely, I just don't want what I'm throwing or what I'm doing. All right. On to the next spot. Hopefully we have some better luck there than we, than we did here. All right, well, I'm here at my next spot. Um, I took the streamer off. It looks a little shallower here and a little slower. So I just want something a little bit lighter. So it's not gonna be right on the bottom immediately. So I stuck on a Rainbow Warrior as my point fly. And I still have the uh, tungsten uh, blue poison tongue uh, midge down below. Let's see if we can find someone in here. Sun's starting to come out. So beautiful out this morning. Now if only I could catch some fish. That would really be the icing on the cake. That was a fish. Dang. We 
these little guys really, uh, they'll really haunt you. <laughs> like, they're not, a, they're not afraid to hit your fly just like an absolute wild man. Send the indicator flying. It looks so crazy. Set the hook, but they're so tiny, they're already gone. Zippy little dudes. There we go. <laughs> oh man, cool. Come here, buddy. I gotcha. Hit the Rainbow Warrior. Size 14, too. People are always afraid to throw slightly bigger flies in the wintertime, but honestly, especially with tight line techniques, it really works a lot of the time. little guy very cool all right cool cool well it's not exactly what I come out here for or maybe it is maybe I do come out here because there's no other fishermen it's gorgeous appreciate nature and uh, catch some fish yeah, I take that back. Honestly, it doesn't get much better than this. There, there we go. Alright. What do we got here? Is this a rainbow? <laughs> these, are, these are about the smallest fish I think I've ever really caught in here. <laughs> I wonder what causes that. Real pretty little rainbow though. That's cool. Alright. On to the next. Actually, I don't know what that one took either. Probably the rainbow. If you're not... If you're not tying or using Rainbow Warriors, you're doing something wrong. Like, hands down, it just like, fish is better than almost any fly I ever use. It's really wild. On a cold winter morning, too. I feel like traditional knowledge tells you, oh, you know, use, use something a lot smaller. But here I am with a size 14 super flashy thing and still catching fish so i got a little tangle there um ended up having to cut my line so i still got the rainbow warrior up top but i'm going to replace that uh, blue poison tongue midge at the base because i don't think i got any fish on that and i'm going to put uh, a spark kind of a sparkly rs2 emerger pattern uh, it has a gray thread body, a CDC wing, glass bead, and some floral fiber, uh, floral fiber tail. So kind of a mix of natural with a bit of bit of shimmer. Always works well in the winter time, especially if there's any bugs hatching, which. I have not seen really today, but uh, you never know. The sun's popping in and out. All right, here we go. GoPro. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, I wish I was being a little more graceful for you guys. This is going to be an embarrassing video. <laughs> but 
but I don't care. Like, is this the same fish that I've been catching over and over? <laughs> Beautiful little guy, though. Alright, thanks, dude. Have a good life. Alright, he hit the rainbow again. They're loving it today. Sweet. Alright, back in there I go. Kind of makes me wish that I had put a Rainbow Warrior on at that first big deep hole. It just like, it just has such power to move fish. It's, I can only have one fly for the rest of my life. Probably would be a Rainbow Warrior. I love that Lance Egan created this fly not even all that long ago either. That's just so cool. And like why why does it work so well? So flashy. There we go. That's a nicer one. I think he hit the RS2 as well. Uh, not huge, but definitely a bit bigger. Nice rainbow. Heck yeah. This is turning out to be a decent little hole here. Not bad for a Wednesday morning in the middle of February. Come here, buddy. Thanks, dude. Honestly, this is a lot better than going to some crowded tailwater with bigger fish. Definitely prefer this. There's definitely a lot of fish stacked up in this small pool. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Another tiny brown. Gave him the quick release treatment. <laughs> this is the kind of situation where having just like an uber thin uh, Tenkara or Siru rod, which are basically like even thinner versions of a Tenkara rod, would be a lot of fun. dude was deep. I was really letting that indicator sink and he took the RS2. Boop. <laughs> this is the smallest one yet. <laughs> Lovely. I don't, know. I don't know what I'm at now. That's probably maybe eight or nine fish at this point. Pretty cool. Oh wow. A rise. There's the rise right here. I'm about to float right by it right now. Yeah, I mean, it's like right here. Get to it right now. There we go. Nicer size one, too. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Oh, the day started off slow, but it is coming around for sure. Yes. Feisty little rainbow, too. Yeah, he took the RS2. Awesome. Right, come here, buddy. <laughs> yes. Sweet. <laughs> Oh, this has turned into such a nice day. There we go. Check that beauty out. Sweet. All right, we're getting back in the water. There we 
No. Another rainbow on the emerger. Ooh, that's a pretty one too. <laughs> cool. Oh, love it. Love it. This has turned out to be a surprisingly good day. I thought I would get lucky to get one or two fish. And I would have been lucky to get one or two fish, but uh, now I'm even luckier. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I love the purples and the pinks on that with the white tips. What a beauty. Alright guys, well uh, that does it for my fishing trip this morning. Overall it was just a stunningly beautiful, cold, crisp, snowy morning. Uh, started off overcast, sun ended up breaking through the clouds. Um, only came across one other fisherman the whole time I was here, which was really nice. Um, to be able to find some peace and solitude out on the water at this time of year, when everybody is fishing whatever open pieces of water they can find or tailwaters. It's just so nice to come out here on a weekday morning and have a nice relaxing morning and uh, end up catching some fish. Caught uh, quite a few tiny browns, tiny rainbows, and even ended up getting some uh, slightly larger, uh, maybe nine, 10 inch rainbows on my own uh, merger pattern that I came up with, basically just a sparkly RS2, uh, but a little different. So very rewarding. Um, really happy with how today went. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. I really appreciate you watching to the end and I'll catch you next time.